Hey game buddies, welcome to my Mac once again. Today we're gonna play the classic 1997 first person shooter Prime Target. This is a game about a muscle bound senator who takes it upon himself to. Um, gosh, what does he do again? I think his friend, who is also a senator, gets murdered by some weird, uh, suited thugs, and he takes it upon himself to, um, take revenge on them and avenge the death of his, uh, senator friend. But I don't really remember why they killed her. I think there's a bit of, like, a strange conspiracy going on. So let's, uh, a walk in the park. Oh, we'll do normal. Oh, apparently, I said my name is Poop. That is quite funny. I am definitely one humorous individual. Let's see. Yeah, this should all be good. So yeah, let's dive in. This is a game that not many have ever touched upon because it's very obscure. But I remember playing the demo when I was probably like five or six years old. Came on one of the uh, shareware CDs that my dad used to get in the mail, direct from America. Actually, I think it was his friend who was subscribed to, uh, I believe it was called Inside Mac Games, IMG. Love those discs. They uh, He would get a new one every month from America. And um, they were great. They would have uh, different uh, demos and different shareware and reviews and stuff every month. It was a very cool magazine, a digital magazine. Probably one of the first, actually. Oh, gosh, that man is shooting me. Kill him. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's... You wouldn't even call it a magazine now. Now it would be a website, and you would just, uh, go and, go and visit it, like the AV Club or something, or I, IGN, whatever. But back in the 90s, when the internet was a weird, slow-crawling, um, miasma of, uh, confusion, you know, I guess getting a disc from America every month made more sense than trying to log on and download these games. In fact, I do remember, um, my, I don't even know what it was because I was so young, but this would have been like pre-1996, which I think is when the World Wide Web took off, like the graphical version of the internet, but I remember like 1994, 1995, when I was very young, my dad going, like logging on to like a... BBS board or whatever um, you had to do back then and downloading a demo of a game called Bloodbath which was like this weird shooting gallery game with like live action videos like you would point your little gun and like click on these like weird live action videos to kill them and then play like the weird pre-recorded death animation and I, rem <laughs> I remember like uh, being in the backyard with my older brother and we were like, because we, we had to wait all night for this thing to download because that's what the internet was like back then. Like, a one megabyte download was like, well, time to pull up a chair and uh, wait while this fucking giant file downloads. Which I mean, like, geez, with one terabyte hard drives now that are like 50 bucks, it's like crazy to think about this. But, um, yeah, so we, we were waiting in the garden for this game to download and we're like, I wonder what the game is because we didn't even know what it was. We we just like, we saw the name, we're like, yeah, download that one, dad. And, a speculation was like, okay, maybe it's a giant river of blood that you have to walk through. Like we, were, like literally, like a bath of blood because we were so young, we didn't even know what the term blood bath meant. Which is maybe we should not have been playing a game called blood bath if uh, <laughs> we were we were that young. But we played it, and I mean. I think it even had a warning, like you booted it up and it was like, warning, this game is violent, this should not be played by kids. And my dad was like, whatever. My dad let me play like all the violent games. I think the only one they ever took off me was, uh, was Duke Nukem 3D. And, I mean, that was after a while. I mean, I remember we had the demo from one of those Inside Mac Game CDs and, um, I thought it was great. It was like one of the the coolest games I'd ever played. But um, the thing that made my dad take it off me was we were in the store and we saw the box for Duke Nukem 3D, and I was like, "Hey, that's that cool game I like." And then he looked at the box and he looked at the rating and he saw it said sexual references, and he was like, 
Uh, maybe I should let my son play this. And I remember after that we uh, met up with my mom in the grocery store, and I remember him like taking her aside and being like, "Yeah, I don't think you should play that game anymore." <laughs> Which I mean, that's that's whatever. I don't know. The thing is, I knew it was naughty for me to be playing that game. I remember saying to my brother, "Hehe." <laughs> Can you believe we're playing this game and it's rated M? Do you remember when, like, um, something being M was, like, a big thing? It's like, <laughs> this movie's M, and I'm watching it. Ah, gosh, weren't those just the days? Now, um, I guess I haven't talked much about this game. Anyway, this was made with the engine from Marathon 2, which was another one of my favorite, uh, games growing up. Which is, like, my dad let me play that game, and that's violent as all hell, like this game. Look at all the blood. But I guess it was the sex thing that made him think I shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be looking at it. Oh, boy. This is goofy as heck. Evil, evil secret service, man. Look at that. You'll see a lot of sprite-based shooters where objects are not given a, a view set like that, but look at this. They gave this different angles of rotation, this wit I wonder what they I wonder what they put this together in. Looks like a weird shitty 3D render. It's got like a weird texture on it, like something that would be like in a in a, in a 3D program from the 90s, just in like the starter pack, there would be like weird, different like chocolate or like bump map textures for you to use. I think that's what it looks like to me. But oh, obviously, these sprites are hand drawn. Like the the interesting, also the interesting thing about this game is, um, I've never seen this in a 2.5D shooter before. But the bodies actually have different angles. They actually went to the effort of giving them different angles, but they fucked it up, because look at this. You see his legs there, right? You would expect, if I turn this way, his legs would be on the left, but they fucked it up. They put his head on the left. If that was flipped, it would be perfect, but they fucked it up. And now you come around again, and his head's there. But if you go this way, his legs are there, okay? And, yep, his legs are pointing where his head should be. They really dropped the ball on this one. Which is unfortunate, because that was a cool idea to do, like, um different angles for the sprite body because most games you know are just like uh well if you look at the guard he's like most games are which is it's just the same angle as you turn around it's it's like a weird disorienting effect with um like sprite bodies like why can't i see your face you can never um oh he's dead ba 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 the it's so fucking weird that when you kill the guards like you see that rib cage open up like was my bullet that powerful oh a green guy <laughs> the other thing i remember about this game is that um when you kill the uh the henchmen or whatever um they say mummy after their dying sound which uh definitely cracked us up as kids oh boy that's one dead man man if they just flip that sideways sprite, it would be perfect. Blue hair, though. That's quite anime-inspired, isn't it? I wonder if the guys who made this game watch a bit of anime. You think they were big into Sailor Moon? <laughs> I mean, obviously. Mm. But um, I do find this game endlessly fascinating because... It's 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 from a time when there was sprite based uh, first person shooters, but also it's in this weird Mac niche as well. It's like it's so many specific things that can never be recreated in history. Like this game existing is a weird thing that'll never happen again, and no one knows about it except me and maybe a couple of other guys. Which I mean, I just find that endlessly interesting, and this stupid picture. I used to think it was like a weird clansman in black, but it's not. It's a wine bottle and some fruit. I think it's actually like a real painting. I think I googled it eventually. <laughs> but it's it's everywhere in this game. And the same with this weird um, pathway. There's a million uh, 
a million versions of this in the game too. There's actually this level where you go to an art gallery and there's like two different um, textures of paintings on the wall and they repeat them endlessly. Like there's a million versions of the same painting. Like you look at one wall and there's just like 20 of the same painting. <laughs> Um, it's like, this is the weirdest fucking depiction of an art gallery ever. But I guess it's just the technology of the time. Yeah, you shoot those doors open. Oh boy. I'm not sure what those are meant to be out of order, yeah. Someone's been hiding health kits in the, uh, the pool, though. Which is always good. Look at that ugly-ass sky landscape. That is just disgusting. Like, that... Yeah, I think if you look down, there is, like, a shittily rendered, uh... What's that thing called? The Washington Monument, but you can't quite see it from this angle. It's so weird. Uh, something cool they added for this game was the, this, the opening doors, because the Marathon Engine just had up and down doors, but they somehow coded in, um, oh boy, turning doors like that, and I wonder if it actually is being rendered by the, uh, the 2.5D engine, or if it's like a external model they've, uh, put in, I'm not really sure, I don't really know, oh boy, man, a uh, bloodbath, can you imagine a senator actually killing like 50 people in the Senate building like this. Yeah, that's the thing. I've always thought if I ever get a 9 to 5 office job that I would decorate my room with th two identical images of a pathway and I'd have a desk, no chair, and I'd keep a med kit in the corner. So I'm actually a little a little scared that someone else had my exact idea. But that's cool. You know what? This dude only has one image of a pathway. He doesn't deserve this chair. I'm going to give the chair to the other dude who dedicated himself to having two pathways and yet no chair. Here you go, buddy. Just a little friendly. Just a little, just a little friendly. A little convenience given. Oh, boy. Talk about a rendering error. <laughs> oh boy, I had no respect. Let me tell ya, my wife, she says she's disinterested in me. Oh boy, I tell ya, I get no respect. Imagine showing, like, just taking a screen cap of this and then going back in time and showing this to Da Vinci. Like, what would his opinion be? Like, he wouldn't think it looks good. It's probably a Da Vinci painting in this game. This, the amount of stupid paintings on the wall they put. Well, he's dead. Oh, I've been in here. I love paper thin walls, though. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been filing away at my walls to try and make them paper thin because this game definitely set a precedent that I think a lot of people should should try to live up to. Oh man, stop spilling that tomato sauce everywhere. Oh, oh. Look at our, look at our bodies. We are dead. How do they get their books so flat? Hm. People hate him. He has the thinnest books. Of, ooh. Time to sit down in this chair and do some work. Hmm. Time to take out the trash. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's the room with four foot high chairs. I love those rooms in any building I go to. I love finding chairs too high to sit in. I wish that was really cool when I was a kid that you could break the glass. Ah, uh, the little things that impressed us back in the innocence of youth. Do you remember do you remember when breaking glass was impressive? Oh gosh, I sure as heck do.
Man, people would be getting sore backs in this room. This look at those chairs. Gush, 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 uh, gush. Uh, down the bigger behind the curtain. Oh wait, uh, no, I cannot because this is just a mere 2.5D game with few details. Wow, did they put like the plastic wrap filter on that chandelier in Photoshop? Did that even exist back then? Hey, historians, why don't you find out if uh, Photoshop uh, 2.1 had the plastic wrap feature in a uh, see if I was right or wrong. That looks like plastic wrap as well. There was definitely like a filter the guys making this game were using, I think. Although I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, man, well that was level one. This is level two. See, these chairs have backs. I wonder why the ones in the, uh, the meeting room didn't. I love how stupid the AI in this game is. I'm just going to wait for this guy to come around the corner and... He's not coming. Why isn't he coming? Okay, that's it. I'm sorry that I didn't put the audio on this game, because when you stab them like that, they just go... Oh, 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 oh. While they stand completely still and let you stab them to death, it's very funny. Um, hey Ben, it's been fun. Ugh. Damn, it's time to kick ass and stab bins with my knife, and I'm all out of bins. Like, why are his ribs exposed? Oh, that was another cool thing they added to the Marathon Engine, which was blood stains on the wall. It's too bad they look like tomato sauce, though. You dead, you dead, you died today. I'm sorry, goodbye. You are now dead. It's time for you to die. Any other Mac shareware stories I can tell you? Um, I remember, like, I was a, like a freak kid, but I used to um, open up readmes for these shareware games, and I would make the Mac computer voice read them to me, so they'd be like, "Blah blah golf, version two point three. Hello." Thank you for downloading this game. I hope that you enjoy it. It took a lot of effort to make it. Asterix, 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 story. Asterix, 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 asterix. You are a lone golfman who has decided that he will win all of the tournaments with his golf abilities, but first, he must work up his strength asterix 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 about asterix 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 this is a game that i just decided to make i hope that you guys enjoy it asterix 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 contact asterix 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 to contact me you can visit my website www geocities.com slash Joe's Cool Games Asterix, 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 Asterix FAQ Asterix, 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 Asterix Hey, this game is cool. Can I put it on my website? Yes. Hey, will you make a game for me? No. Is your name really Joe? Yes. Are your games as cool as the name says? Hehe, <laughs> I like to think so. Copyright 1994. Joe. And on that note, I'd like to bid you all adieu, and I hope you enjoyed this game. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Cool Game Playing Guy. See y'all. Love ya. Mwah.